Hello and welcome back to another episode of Beer Bar and Beyond. My name is Andrew. Thank you very much for tuning in again. Most appreciated. So today we have another beer tasting and it comes in the form of Amundsen's Ink and Dagger Modern IPA. So Amundsen uh, have been a brewery that's been collaborating with Devil's Peak of late. Or from what I gather, it seems that the, uh, Devil's Peak is brewing their beers out of their um, HQ in Epping. So essentially these Amundsen brewers are being brewed in Cape Town uh, by Devil's Peak. Um, so some sort of like contract brewing kind of thing, I guess. Uh, really excited to get this one into a glass and uh, give you my verdict on the Ink and Dagger modern IPA. So the uh, Ink and Dagger modern IPA comes in at 6.5% alcohol by volume. It's pretty heavily hopped. They use Magnum, Citra, Mosaic and Simcoe hops in this. And uh, yeah, it's um, quite an enticing smell already, just as I've cracked that can. So I don't know what a modern IPA is, um, but uh, it's, uh, I'm assuming, a quite a hop forward IPA with relatively low bitterness. So yeah, excited to see what it's all about. So, beer in the glass is a crisp, golden, clear color. Very clear, actually, uh, only sort of haziness is actually coming from the uh, condensation formed around the glass. Looking at about two fingers, just short of two fingers of pretty uh, tight white head. And yeah, some decent carbonation going up there. All in all, a terrific looking beer. So, let's get the aroma on this Ink and Dagger. Whoa, so huge tropical nose, tons of melon. Tons of pawpaw, papaya, a little bit of pineapple. It's really more of like a melange of tropical sweetness. Not a lot of citrus really. Actually, as I take another sip, there's a there's a subtle bit of citrus, but more like a candied citrus, uh, almost like a, a synthetic sort of orange sherbet flavor. But yeah, really, really nice nose. Definitely tropical. So guys, I guess there's nothing left to do really but to taste this Ink and Dagger from Amundsen. So, cheers. Hmm. Wow, that is stunning. That is a really, really nice beer. And it's right up my alley. There is actually a bit of bitterness to this. Uh, it's quite nice. It doesn't really finish very bitter. It's quite a smooth, easy finish to the beer. The bitterness, I guess, helps. Um, it is 6.5%. I mean, that's not huge nowadays, but um, it will keep you in check. Very nice um, mouthfeel, decent carbonation, so it sort of pops a bit in your mouth. Really crisp, really clean, quite refreshing. Flavor-wise, you're getting a bit of mango, a bit of papaya, so your nose is definitely following through on the palate. Subtly sweet. But as I said, it is a bitterness that sort of cleans that all out and rounds it off very well. I must say, that is a very impressive beer, really. It's really exciting that they're able to get that much flavor out of a beer that is just clean and clear. Obviously, there's a high emphasis nowadays on these juicy haze bomb beers, which are overly hopped, uh, but also have uh, pretty big yeast profiles, which add to the flavors in the palate. This one, though, is very clean and very clear, and they're still able to get that monster palate out of it, which is really, really nice and, um, you know, really impressive from a brewing perspective. So guys, I guess uh, from a ratings perspective, I'm gonna give this one a four out of five. Solid effort, solid beer. Can't really fault it in any way, shape or form. Wonderful aroma, beautiful looking beer, crisp and clean. Uh, will appear more to your more uh, beer traditionalists who are not down with that haze. So guys, thanks once again for tuning in. If you'd like to follow me on social media, all the links will be in the description below. So in closing guys, as usual, keep drinking good beers and I'll catch you again soon. Cheers.